My name is Farah Owotomo, and I'm very excited this morning to be here with you and to welcome our next guest, Adedamola Ladejobi, aka Coach Ask Dams. Funny story, Damola is actually my sister in love, not just Coach Ask Dams, she's actually family. And it is an honor to have her here today to talk to us about the journey to weight loss. Welcome, Damola. Thank you, and thank you for having me, and thank you for that introduction, thank sister. You, <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, tell us about how you were able to lose 40 kg, 40 kg, guys, A whole in human nine being. months from about 100 and something kg. It's not beans, though. So, Damola, how did you really do it? Okay, so we're going to be real. Yep. Open, honest, and very transparent. All the way. All right. Um, when I started losing the weight, when I was determined to lose weight the healthy route and not just do crash diets, what I did was I took a decision that I was not going to look back. Okay. And so I started losing weight in my 20s. Um, so I lost my first 20 kilos in three months. But the rest wow. fell off bit by bit. My target was actually 20 kilos. I didn't plan on losing 40 kilos. Mm. But I started to feel better. I had more energy. My clothes started to fit better. I could go into shops without fear. And I was, and I was like, okay, this lifestyle seems good. Let me carry on with this. And I've never looked back since then. You see, you've just said that you lost your first 20 kg in three months. I'm sure a lot of viewers want to know how you did that. Because 20 kg in three months sounds ridiculously fast, you know. And like you've just said, there's the healthy way of losing weight. And as we all know, there's the unhealthy way of losing weight. So tell us, how did you do it? Okay, how did I do it? Um, there are three things I always talk about. I'm going to try to be as precise and straight to the point as possible. Your diet. And diet doesn't mean crash diet. And it means your nutrition is everything. Being physically active is everything. And then one thing that a lot of us take for granted is sleep. Sleep literally controls your appetite, your metabolism, and so many other factors. And so for me, while I was trying to lose weight, and when I, when I started to lose weight, I took these three factors into consideration, rolled them into a ball, and decided I was not going to look back. So losing the 20 kg in the first three months, I was under the age of 30. Please bear this in mind. If you're over the age of 30, your muscle to fat ratio is extremely low. So mm. don't look at me right now and think to yourself, in the next three months, I need to lose 20 kilos, mm. especially if you're over the age of 30 or 40 or 50. Mm. It's a different strokes for different folks out there. And comparison on this journey is the thief of joy. Mm. If I try to lose 20 kg right now in three months, I don't even have up to 20 kg of fat to lose. So it's not possible for me to do so. Mm -hmm. This is really, really important because a lot of the times we make a lot of assumptions about how to lose weight, um, how much weight we can lose. And then when things don't work out as we plan, we begin to get a bit anxious and it begins to affect our mental state of mind. But even before we touch on the wellness element of this, I would like to know when you were... A big girl versus when you became a slim girl. Mm. How did this affect your family relationships? How did it affect your husband, your kids, your in-laws, your parents? I was hoping you asked me this question, actually, because a lot of people um, see my before and after pictures. Mm. And they're like, how did your husband actually cope with this? I'll tell you, when I first started losing weight, when I dropped my first two dress sizes, when I got down to, um, when I had lost 15 kg, I remember my husband saying to me one day, I will never forget, after church, he was like, what is all of this? This is not who I married. Like, your jeans are falling down, your clothes are now too big. What's going on here? So I had to help him understand. Please notice that I used the word help. Mm. I didn't say, this is what I want to do, and that's your business. No, because he got into the marriage. It's a contract. Mm. Do you get So I literally broke the contract. Mm. So in the process of breaking the contract, I had to explain my reason for breaking the contract. <laughs> when I started to let him become more aware of the fact that, look, I'm doing this for health reasons. 
that severe back pain that I used to have that I would cry at night, I would cry all the time about this backache, it stopped. That wow. extreme heartburn, feeling like I'm having a heart attack because of hyperacidity from eating junk. I feel better as I'm losing this weight. So he started to see me come alive, become more energetic. So he's like, wow, okay, this is how I want my wife to be. So for him, it became anything that's going to make you happy. I'm down with this. And then for some reason, my looks also changed. I, I, <laughs> I upped my game. <laughs> and then I started dressing better. Anybody who knows my husband knows that he likes to dress up too. I upped my game with, with regards to you know, my dressing up and everything. And then from somebody who was all about, stop losing this weight. This is not who I married. He now became, babes, he looks so gorgeous. Wow, you look so beautiful. And I'm like, okay, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Already I'm, I'm in awe. Because a lot of the times we don't actually connect the dots. You know, when people talk about wanting to lose weight, wanting to um, be fitter, wanting to have a better wellness journey, they don't connect the dots. And the reality is, it's all connected. Yeah. Family, yeah. our lives, you know, it is all part of the same thing. Everything. So it's really, really interesting that you've just said this about your husband and you. And yes, I do know your husband and he <laughs> loves to dress. You know, we all know Debs. <laughs> You know, so in relation to your children, did anything change? Did they know big mommy versus slim mommy? So here's the thing. Um, with my son, my son is seven years old. So mm. he cannot really relate because the big mommy, as you would put it, mm. was still breastfeeding him. He was a baby. He was how many, how many days or months old when I started my journey. So I've maintained this weight loss for um, over seven years. Mm. So my daughter slightly remembers big mommy mm. when she sees the pictures. Mm. Then she laughs and she was like, mommy, you know, I can't believe you were ever like this, like seriously. But let me tell you the, the most beautiful um, part of this journey for me. Um, now your kids will copy whatever it is that they see you do. Okay. And so it's not enough for you to... I'm going to stop you right there. Okay. Because I've just been told I've only got six minutes left. Oh, wow. Yes. Okay. However, <laughs> there's one key thing I want us to leave everybody with. Okay. If you are going to give anybody advice on how to start this lifestyle shift, what are the three most important things you would say? Bearing in mind that it is not a quick fix. Mm. It is a lifestyle shift. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um... Point number one, you put me on the spot here. Point number one, be your own kind of beautiful. Comparison is the thief of joy. And what happens is, you know, you see people on social media, heavily edited bodies, heavily edited lives, heavily edited everything. Um, you could even hear, I lost 10 kg in two weeks. And then you start thinking to yourself, but I only lost one kg. We're doing the same plan. What happened? Forgetting that we all have different journeys. So be your own type of beautiful, mm. point number one, and comparison with the thief of joy. Two, just because you've had a bad day on this weight loss and wellness journey, this healthy, this healthy route to a healthy lifestyle, just because you have one bad day does not mean that you should give up on your journey. You are going to have bad days. Mm. I am a weight loss expert and a wellness coach for a living. I have bad days where... I actually should not show my face on Instagram and call myself a fit fam coach in any shape or form. Wow. But guess what? That's the human side of me. It's who yeah. I am and I show it. And that's why people can relate with Ask Dams and what I do. Mm. Point number three. Huh, I'm going to have to put this out on here, even though it doesn't really tie into the whole um, weight loss journey alone. But whoever it is that you, that's going to be your partner, especially your life partner, mm. make sure that it's somebody that is your friend, first of all. Because if you marry your friend and marry somebody who has your back and who is genuinely supportive and happy for you, mm. they would understand that on this journey, your health is what is important. You're doing this for yourself. And even if it's for vanity reasons, you have to help that person understand that the reason behind why you're doing what you're doing. Take them along this journey with you. Mm. Don't rush into marriage. I always say this. You rush in, you rush out. My partner right now, my husband... He's my number one supporter with everything I do, even on this journey. He reminds me, oh, I thought you were working out today. Oh, you're eating this? Oh, wow. Okay. And he's also my wellness partner in terms of the days where I want to eat a burger or pizza because I am human. Mm. He doesn't judge me by saying, oh, I thought you were a wellness and weight loss expert. Why are you eating burger and pizza? I was like, Jaya, Jari. That's what he would say. You know him. You see? 
You don't <laughs> now, thank you so much. Damola, thank, thank you. you so, so much. You have really, in this very, very short space of time, given us some huge nuggets to go away with. And one of the things you've just said at the end there about your partner is ironic because that's exactly what Charlie Boy said. Oh, wow. Yeah, you know? he mentioned that. So this only goes to buttress the fact that family is everything, however you look at it. Everything. You know, your partner, your relations, your, you know, it, it's all part of the same puzzle. So I'm really, really, really happy that I had you on here today. I'm super Thank excited. You. Thank you so much. I'm excited much. to be here. Thank too, you so much. Thank you.